Welcome back to Tahoe tonight. Now, I raised an eyebrow when Scott Peters came through the door today. You're a CPA yeah. with Munn CPAs, right. and you're talking tax filing due dates and stuff. I was like, well, wait yeah. a second, it's July. Yeah, well, this is, uh, if you've extended your uh -huh. tax returns, either a business or individual, uh, then it's it's starting to come back around. So the uh, September 15th is the uh, filing deadline for business extensions. So you, uh, you, if you have a business and you file an extension, now it's time to start thinking about that because you got just a few weeks ahead to get that done. That's not really a fun thought this no. time of year. Huh? I mean, <laughs> no. I like, 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 I'm sorry to bring it down. You know, <laughs> it's just something but you, you got to do. It. You got to do, do it. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> yep. So how can how can businesses plan for minimizing some of this burden? You know, now that it's having to, be, if you filed an extension, you have to revisit it. So yeah. So um, I'm basically for 2016. You're this is you're extending. You're going to file by September 15th for your 16 tax return. There's not a whole lot you can do at this point because most people are. Tax ba uh, cash basis taxpayers. Mm -hmm. So you have to do your planning before the year ends. So the tax planning comes into play now for your 2017 tax return. So if you own a business and you have multiple, um, you know, you have options there, you have a lot more uh, ability to minimize your tax burden if you're plan ahead. So now's the time, if you've extended, to get that done, then move on to thinking about how to plan for 17. So a lot of businesses can take Section 179 on assets they need to purchase if they have income that they might show at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. We want to eliminate that so there's no tax burden. Okay. So that really takes some mm -hmm. the, someone like you, yeah. the knowledgeable on how to kind of navigate that. Exactly. Pathway. If you yeah. Will. So if you you know if you're a small business just starting out or you've been in business for for many years, you're just always playing catch up. You, you know, you get with the CPA, maybe you already have one or you need one, just come in and, and start planning ahead so that you can get ahead of the, of the game. So you want to eliminate that tax if you, or that income at the end of the year before you have to pay that. So um, it takes a lot of planning. Um, it could take a couple meetings, um, maybe just one meeting, but just come in and, and try to get proactive. And, and the insight of a CPA, and that's one of the reasons why you use a CPA. Yeah, so there's there's things that CPAs can do for you that um, maybe a bookkeeper can't, or maybe you know you're doing your books yourself and you're you know having a friend file your return. There's a lot of tax credits out there. There's a lot of planning tools that you can put in place. It's gonna you know it's gonna cost a fee, but you know it's at the end of the day it's gonna be you're gonna save more money. Save you a lot more. Potentially, yeah. Not every every case is different. Every taxpayer is different. Every business is different. So it takes takes that planning and meeting with a CPA and getting to know your business and understanding what your needs are and then going from there. Do you really ramp up? Do you do a lot of people extend? Uh, are you getting busy right now? Like super uh, busy? Yeah, so so we do, um, do do a lot of extensions. It's typically people uh, that have flow through entities that extend because they might get a K-1 from a business they're an investor in or mm -hmm. they're an owner in and those businesses extend their returns because it takes them a lot longer to get their stuff in. So we have to wait for those K-1s to come through before we file their individual returns. So we also have a ton of uh, business extensions we're getting geared up to do and then October 15th is the extension for individuals. Wow. Well, yeah. what do you think? You know, just uh, coming off of April, yep. <laughs> a few months past it, and then thinking uh -huh. about that again for the people that have filed extensions. Yeah. But it is a good reminder out there. Exactly. So, cool. Hey, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, you can give us a call, um, visit our website, or just stop by on James Avenue here uh, cool. near Keys Boulevard in South Lake. Excellent. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. More Tahoe Tonight returns right after this.